The relationship between Jordan and Syrian rebels along its border is anything but clear-cut and comfortable. The government has been silently training and arming what it calls secular rebels from the Free Syrian Army in exchange for protecting its border and keeping so-called extremists away from it. The rebels' most recent gain in Dar'a was seizing a vital border crossing between Jordan and Syria. But Jordan was alarmed to find out the moderate rebels it supported had joined forces with the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Nusra Front to win this battle, a non-starter for the kingdom. Former Foreign Minister Jawad al-Anani says the threat of terrorism is lurking around Jordan's border and that it may take action inside Syria if its internal security is threatened. Today's friends are, are tomorrow's strange bedfellows. And so therefore we are, uh, you know, trying to adjust to the varying situation. Uh, you cannot be all trusting, you cannot be all confident, confident that everybody is walking the line as you would like him to do so. Syrian rebels have scored major battlefield gains recently in the north and south. There have been reports that Arab countries want to help them further weaken President Assad's government. Dara'a, which is right behind Jordan's border with Syria, is a strategic province for the Assad government. That's because it's only 100 kilometers away from Assad's seat of power in Damascus. Any major gains by rebels in parts of Dara'a that are close to the Damascus highway would constitute a real threat to the Syrian government. There have been talks about Arab countries providing air power cover and possibly anti-aircraft missiles to rebels in southern Syria. Reports suggest this would have to be led from Jordan. For the rebels, a no-fly zone has been a long-standing demand, but not something they've been promised. We promised Syrians on the world that the regime will not survive more than a month if there is a no-fly zone. As for providing Syrian rebels with anti-aircraft missiles, these are no more than media reports. With Saudi Arabia's attention diverted to the conflict in Yemen and Jordan's reservations about backing Syrian rebels, observers agree that an imminent Arab intervention in Syria is a remote possibility. Nisreen al-Shamayli al-Jazeera al-Mafraq on the Jordan-Syria border.